My name is Chunde Ademuywa. I'm the co-founder and CEO of KiaKiaPrint.com. KiaKiaPrint is an online print shop. The only thing we don't print is money. We have the single focus of being the number one print company in the whole of Africa. So when we started, we were, we were a team of five, and um, we are like a, we are a year right now, and we're now 23. So we've gone from a team of five to a team of 23 within a year. We believe that there's a lot to be done. There's a lot of growth that we need to achieve. There are a lot of loopholes in the market that needs to be filled and we are poised to fill all of this. I think one of our biggest competitive advantage is our speed. And not just speed, speed with a special eye for quality. We pay very close attention to detail. Everybody in our team goes through rigorous training on the rudiments of um, quality printing. We believe that a good name is better than gold and silver and that's why we, we put in all our best to make sure we don't falter when it comes to quality. At the same time, this has been like a springboard for us because our business has grown really through referrals. So before we launched Kia, Kia Print, I had started Vocal Circuits Limited, which was founded in 2013. We manufacture speaking cards. We needed to print our cards. So we used to go to other print shops, but they couldn't give us the right product, the right timelines. They couldn't meet up with our timelines, more or less. So we bought our own small digital printing machine, and we noticed that we're not always printing speaking, making speaking cards. So we said, you know what, this machine is just lying down here. We can as well just start printing petty things like business card letters and flyers. But surprisingly, the printing division just took off. And when we saw an opportunity in this space, we decided to form a new entity, a new company, and that's where Kekia Print was launched. And now we are growing really fast. To become a thoroughbred professional, I had to do a lot of learning. You know, it was like a humbling experience because you have to go in the trenches where you have to go in the depths of Shomolu, you know, which is like the print hub. I am a trained engineer and because of my background and my eye for detail, I could see that a lot was missing in their processes. And I said, look, we need to fix this. Printing is a need. Right, but we need to fix this, and that's why we had to spend countless hours watching videos, learning, having mentors in that field, and um, learning at the foot of, of all the, the greats in the print industry. I had to spend time and hours in factories learning. I am still learning, you know, so it's, it's, it's for me, I'm a work in progress. One interesting thing is that I never set out to to go into printing. It was never a goal right from school. What I wanted to do was make card stock, uh, speaking cards. And basically speaking cards, what we used to do with speaking cards is we program electronic chips and we embed them into paper and allow them to talk. This product can be used for marketing tools, communicating with the people at the bottom pyramid in the local languages from cards that talk. You know, so that has always been the dream. But because of our need for printing for the cards, it opened my eyes to the printing industry and we saw an opportunity there. We believe that we could make a difference. I'm gonna tell you guys a, a cool story. When we started Kia, Kia Print, the idea we had before was to be like some sort of Uber for printing, where we will leverage technology and we will outsource business to, to print companies. But it was a mess. Like there's, the industry is not standardized, a lot of charlatans in the business, so we had to do our own investment into our own machinery. Initially, our plan was not to go into that. So the, one of the challenges we had was that we had to pivot very early in a matter of weeks. You know, when we saw that the, the established print companies could not meet our pace, they couldn't meet our quality, and we knew, we knew that we just had to buy our own machinery. Another challenge was um, getting trained hands, because I had to learn properly and train other people. And you know, when you train people, you have to make them unlearn and relearn, you know. That was a big challenge, but um, We've gone past that and we are still growing. My work schedule is... It varies, you know. Uh, the office opens by 8 o'clock, uh, but I'm, I'm usually I wake up to 2 a.m., you know. <laughs> and that's really about the time I usually go to bed, 2 a.m. So it's about 8 a.m. to 2 a.m. <laughs> For role models, locally in Nigeria, my role model is Aliku Dangote. I admire him because he's a lot like what I would like to be someday. He has the grit that is required for 
success in Nigeria. He has his eyes set on, on, on specific goals and um, he's my man. He's my role model. <laughs> One of my biggest drive and love for entrepreneurship is the fact that you get to employ people. You take people off the streets. I give an analogy that when we started we were just five, now we are 23. Now, these are 23 people that have a source of living, they have families to take care of, they have school fees to pay for those that are married or those that have children amongst them. This for me drives me. My best days in the month is payday. Because you see the faces of your team members, your staff, you see the faces when they get that alert, that credit alert. It's a mood changer. You know, I live for things like this. I really pray we grow very, really, really big and we have thousands of employees all around the world. It's the biggest, one of the biggest driving forces for me is the fact that we change lives every day. People have a sense of living, they have self-respect and they are able to pay it forward and to help others in their families and society. Absolutely not. I have no plans to relocate in from this country. I love Nigeria and I, despite our challenges, I really believe in this country. Uh, our diversity is our strength. You know, from our music, you see, you hear an Igbo speaking um, artist and you're excited. You hear Yoruba speaking artist, you're excited. Nobody cares about tribe. And I believe that um, this country has a lot of potential, but I really want to start seeing us change those potentials to kinetic energy. You know, we need to start seeing these things. But I have faith in this country that someday with the right leadership things will change and we are going to do our part to change the nation we'll do our part to help the country grow and um, we pray we continue to get the right leadership hi my name is Tunde. i'm young and i'm nigerian 